The COVID-19 pandemic hit the event industry pretty hard and some major conventions took a hit as well, like San Diego Comic-Con. Yeah, but Comic-Con is making a comeback with some new rules in place. Fox 5's Liberty Zavala is live for us at the convention center with the new requirements that fans can expect out there. Liberty. Good afternoon, Andrew and Maria. Well, this will be the first Comic-Con in person in two years since the pandemic, and the three-day show will return here at the Convention Center in November. Eric Ariaga has been drawing away despite Comic-Con shutting its doors two years ago. It's been really hard these last couple of years without Comic-Con and not being able to travel, um, especially when you consider this, you know, or I consider this some of my income. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's hurt quite a bit. But he can't wait for its return to in-person events on November 26th through the 28th. I was really excited. Um, I know it's not going to be the Comic-Con we know. Uh, it's going to definitely be a smaller one, but it's okay. It, it's, 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 it's a start. This year, Comic-Con attendees must provide proof of vaccination or a negative COVID-19 test taken within 72 hours of each day they are attending. Being safe is not a negative thing. It's just you're, you're just being safe. So um, I see it as a good thing. If it gets us moving forward and getting to us to, the, to get to shows, and if that's what's required, then that's what we need to do. Comic-Con organizers will also require all attendees to wear masks and not just the superhero kind. <laughs> exactly. Yes, yes. And that's, I think that's one of the cool things is, you know, if you're going to cosplay, you know, you're going to wear a mask anyway. So it, it's, it's going to be fun. That's the whole part of being a superhero. And Comic-Con typically attracts 135,000 people to the gas lamp district each year, but it is expected to be smaller in November and tickets go on sale on the 25th. For now, live here at the Convention Center, Liberty Zabala, Fox 5 News. It's good to see events slowly.